Hello everybody on YouTube. So we're here today in the city of Beverly Hills and we're right here on where they have what you call the Bermuda Triangle of Beverly Hills and just down the street over here is where Bugsy Siegel used to live. And what we're going to do today is see if we can talk to Bugsy Siegel and see if he will tell us who murdered him. Because apparently it's still unsolved. So yeah, get a look around you. This is uh, Beverly Hills. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. And we're out here just filming everything. And we're going to see if anything communicates with us tonight. Uh, so none of you know the history of Bugsy Siegel. Well, basically, um, the no, no one knows who killed, killed him. And his full name is Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. Uh, the shooting took place in Southern California and happened on June 20th, 1946, six months after Siegel's mobbed-up Flamingo Hotel Casino at the Las Vegas Strip opened disastrously during a rare win winter rainstorm. Okay, so after that, uh, what ended up happening was Siegel's bloody death at his girlfriend Virginia Hills rented home in Beverly Hills which I just showed earlier uh, remains a popular mob history every year as the anniversary of his death approaches speculations over who killed the 40 year old Brooklyn born mobster seems to intensify centering on several theories while the debate continues over who pulled the trigger one thing is certain the death uh, uh, was seven of uh, 71 years ago was gruesome. Uh, what ended up happening is at 10:45 p.m., a sniper armed with a 30 caliber military carbine rested the barrel on a crossbar of a rose-covered pag pagodoa. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. And basically, they just shot him through the window. Uh, what ended up happening was, uh, it hit a table lamp, which ended up illuminating his head. He received two shots to the head, two in the chest, and then it hit like a nude painting and some statue. So, that's basically what happened. Nobody knows who killed him. His ex-girlfriend so they broke up at the time was not home and she was in Paris so we really don't know what happened with him but we'll ask him tonight see if he talks to us Hello, is anybody here tonight? Good morning, I heard morning. Do we happen to be with the uh, spirit of Bugsy Siegel? Could anybody say yes? Pretty interesting. Is any spirits here related to the shooting of Bugsy Siegel? How about any of the ghosts of anyone else who passed away out here in the so-called Bermuda Triangle, either from the traffic accident, the plane crash, or the shooting? Did it say Steve? I heard Steve. Just Meet me outside. What? 
So who is it that's talking to us? Because I hear voices right now. Who's calling for dad? Is anybody here involved in a shooting? I heard like a whisper that said yes. So who is it that said yes? So was there a murder that took place out here? Is this land really cursed right here on this street? Okay, so we're here and everybody in the world can hear what you're saying right now. So if you communicate with us, it's going to be posted where the whole world can hear it. So if you have something to say, say it right now. If not, we're going to leave. Why do you want us to leave? I hear don't, and then they hear don't take it personal. Well, not bad. We're not bad. Thank you for not being mad. We come with no disrespect. We're just trying to see if we can maybe solve a mystery on who murdered. Uh, Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. Does anybody know who did it? No, it wasn't me. That said you. Oh. So was the person that murdered Bugsy Siegel Jewish? Is it just me, or did I hear some gunshots? That's crazy. So, is, is anybody else here wanting to communicate other than who just told us to leave? Because I know that one spirit doesn't speak for all of them. So if we don't get too many responses, we're going to leave. If you have something to say to us right now, it might solve a murder mystery. Don't mean to be patronizing. Burn. Did somebody burn out here? Was there a fire? Yes. Who burned? Okay, well, thank you for communicating with us. You have no permission to follow us. And we thank you for interacting with us. You have no permission to attach to us or attach to any of our equipment. And 
We wish you safe travels in the spiritual realm. And we hope that you find peace. And we're protected by, by God. And that God is the one and only true God of Israel. So please do not follow us because he will be very angry with you. Okay, thank you for interacting with us. We mean no disrespect. And again, do not follow us or attach to anything here. Bye-bye.